Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the last uh, gift episode of 2018. As Jeff said, we have a real treat for you today. Um, two treats, actually. The first is that um, for the last few years that I've been here, we've been doing this year in review kind of wrap up, which just I feel is just a really great opportunity to re-experience all of the miracles that have happened throughout the year. And we put it in the format of an A to Z. And past few years we've done a website, but this year we've done a video. And I'll just set it up very briefly. This video was, um, of course, a culmination of everything that's been happening in the whole community for the whole year. And it was a house project here at Quinta del Sol, QDS. And we just had such a, a very, very joyful time together with it. And we're really happy to share it with you. It's about 15 minutes long. So um, really the setup for today's show is gonna be, uh, I'll do this, set you up, and we'll go to that very long clip after that. And then I've got a special guest with me here today as well to help us bring in 2019 with um, really one of, the <coughs> one of the highlights of 2019. So uh, I won't tell you who it is now, it'll be a surprise. But uh, without further ado, Welcome again to The Gift, and this is 2018 A to Z with Living Miracles. going to make this year different by making it all the same. That's the kind of stuff you get when you work with this book. You know, you feel like, what am I? Is this 2,000 years ago? Whatever, I made a grocery store. And I'm watching a, a Raising the Dead experience. The course itself can stir the awakening, right? So when they open this up and they read it, they're like, what? I just, what did I just read?
Yeah, it just felt like this miracle leading the way of this unknown. So obviously, Jesus behind it all. So you're my savior because you asked me to join you. And I said, yes. And I said, this is why I'm back. <laughs> because I said, yes, spirit wants to, you know, use the voice uh, to bring light to uh, this topic and to bring joy to it because we can. The mind rises above all of this when we really listen and follow and get in touch with our divinity. And I couldn't even feel my body. And I think maybe I forgot I even had a body. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and for me,
the subtitle is um, yeah, spiritual tools to transcend fear and experience the power of the present moment. And it's non-compromising in terms of what is necessary, uh, what is necessary to uh, be free from the conflicts in your mind, um, to escape from fear. Really in my heart I feel the book is for everyone. And I think when you have that peace within, then you begin to experience a peaceful world. We were kind of walk through this and, and go for it, and it's so precious. It's all for this. <laughs> mm. A new kind of vibe and direction, the spirit direction. Time to start reaching out to all kinds of people, well, everyone, even people who haven't heard of spirituality. And that's what I feel like spirit is. We're all going to wake up at once. Like we're just following that inspiration and following the guidance moment to moment. And right now it looks like spirit. That's the Dollar Ridge fire in Duchesne County. It's burning. The sky was just mystical. I was like, wow. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> Suzanne said, yes, it's a, it's a wildfire. It had gone from 20 acres to 6,000 acres, boom, just like that. But we were still in the silent retreat when uh, it was the day before it was ending. But then the next day, we had our whole new group of volunteers coming in and set up for our Strawberry Fields Festival. Yeah, you're, you're going to have to take everyone to Canvas. Um, they're not to come out here to the monastery. Our plan know of what we thought it would look like has just been completely undone and so that just started us off in this foundation of um we're just all in god's hands together um, yep we're sustained by the love of god there's no doubt about it <laughs> You know, the way we do it, it is through relationships. That, that's why we talk about relationships a lot in, in this pathway and in the pathway of A Course in Miracles. Do you have judgment? Let's express it. Do you have attack thoughts? Let's express it. Not everything will be melted away in this moment. And that is an experience that nothing can stand in the way of love. Absolutely nothing. No skill, no past experience, no judgments, nothing. And you are loved if you open up your heart. That is the message. It struck me this morning just actually how powerful having this, because as you said, it's not outside of you. This represents, this is symbolic of a connection that is available all the time. and. It eliminates the excuses actually like it really does come down to a choice do I want to be right or do I want to be happy because there's not an excuse anymore that says well I don't know how or no I can't it's like no you can actually it's right here staring you right in the face asking you how are you feeling all you need to do is accept the invitation What did you think? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. We had so much fun here in the studio, like literally just, I don't know, 10 feet to my left here. We were cheering yesterday as the letter Z came in because we had everything done but Z. And we, we were thinking Zion. We've got a cat named Zion. He's our newest member of our, you know, animal community. And then 
this came in with like lightning. I mean, we were all joking that it was like birthing new ideas and the joy was just so high. So it's really just such a joy to share this with you and just with full gratitude and getting to experience the whole year all over again um, with such joy. So thank you. Thank you to you for being a part of it with us. And um, as I said before, we've got a special guest with us here today. I have Susan here with me. Mm -hmm. And Susan is part of our, um, our book team. She's one of the core members of our book team for This Moment Is Your Miracle, which is David's brand new book that's coming out in February. And um, Susan and I were just swirling last night in some inspiration around all of this, getting right down into the heart of it again. Like, what is this book really for? Mm. So, welcome, yeah. Susan. Thank you, Kristen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it feels, it feels really like the right time or something to, to be, be talking about this because, because, yeah, there is something really big happening with the book. Um, and I can see, you know, when I was, when I really went into prayer, I can see this is not about a book. <laughs> it's like, this is way, way bigger than that. And that's, that's what I want to talk, talk to in this, like, just how, you know, yeah. I mean, I mean, for those of you who don't know, there, and there was the video, um, we just watched talk, talked about the, the book and this moment is your miracle. And it's, it's, it's a new one coming out and, you know, February 2nd is the, the planned date for that. So, so the book hasn't even come out yet, but, um, but yeah, a group of us came together um, very recently, just a few weeks ago. There was a call to, to join and to just really um, come underneath something massive that feels like it's happening right now um, in terms of this deep message of forgiveness and you know, like to me, it's like there's something about the core. The core of this book is is really teaching that you know that that there's there's a truth inside of each of us, and that all we need to do is is you know is forgive. Actually, um, every you know every step of the way that the spirit guides us, and the more we say yes. To that, then the more we can open to to this love, to this this truth, this you know, mm. this vibrancy that, that's inside of each of us, kind of thing. And so, you know, to me, like that's everything. Like that's oh my gosh, this is this is what the book is. <laughs> the book is actually teaching that it's actually and it's and it's doing it in a way that is it's like, yeah. I mean, we've we've been reading it at the house um, in the morning together and. And just kind of going into it together, it's it's spoken in such a simple, pure language. It doesn't have the, you know, it doesn't have the you could say the more intellectual quality of the course itself. It's it's very very simple, and there's practical exercises that people can actually practice, you know, um, you know, to to really get the practical application of what the course is saying in a deep way. And anyone like it, it feels so accessible to to anyone, and, and this is the part that I'm so fired up by, like, that, that this is going to the whole world, you know, like, this isn't, this is no longer just a, a kind of a, a small group of, of people, like, this is, there's something happening here that feels so broad and so accessible and so, so full of life, you know, that, that I just, my feeling about it all is that the more this comes out and as we, you know, the more that this launch happens and we, we move into this, that, the, that this is going to be hurt. That, that there's, there's like a lot of ears to hear out there because it's so broad, it's so accessible and so, so alive, you know. And, you know, like look at the title, This Moment is Your Miracle. I mean, that's, that says it all, really, you know. And so, so I feel like that's, that's where I want to be and that's where I want to speak from. Um, and the more I can just stay there in my heart and say, okay, that, that I'm here because, because of forgiveness, because I believe, I, I know that this is my way out, you know, and I want to share that. Like I want to, you know, I want to, I want to say, yes, this is, this is all of our ways out kind of thing. And, and, and join me in that. Yeah. Join me in that, in that prayer together. Yeah. And so it's not really about sales or how, you know. 
I mean, there's a lot planned for 2019. There's going to be some touring. There's going to be like, you know, we're just getting it. We're just at the beginning edge, really, of this. But yeah, I mean, at, at the surface level, it looks like there there's like a pre-order campaign where people can go and and get gift get gifts from ordering the book now before it actually comes out on in February and. Yeah, and there's there's a there's a lot of social media, and we're just trying to to share about this and invite people into this and and what have you. Um, but but yeah, I think I think the essence of it um, has has got to stay our focus. That's our that's our team. Our team is that focus of 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 wanting this deep prayer and wanting it together. And come what may, I mean, we've. We've gone through a lot of healing together already as the team, and and I know I know there'll be more. And um, yeah, I mean, right now there's there's been talk of um, a real new ins inspiration that's come in is something around um, um, how like the how we can extend this in a bigger way, right? So we have, like I mentioned, the pre-order campaign, and just you know having you know inviting people in that way. But we we've been talking uh, a lot about. Um, uh, bringing in what's called what we're calling a prison ministry um, or a rehabilitation center min mis um, ministry rather, and and that's really been um, yeah that was really sparked actually at the last online retreat when uh, David read a letter from Dale Crow and Dale Crow yeah Dale Crow is is a man in prison who was really writing about his awakening, his awakening in prison, you know, and he was talking, I mean, whoever was on that retreat, you know, it was an unmistakable feeling, you know, it was palpable. We could, we could see that this was, a, this was forgiveness in action in a really big way, and he was living it, and he, you know, and he was, he was talking about the prison of the mind, you know, the prison is actually in the mind, it's thoughts, it's not you know, whatever, it's not what the body's doing, it's not being physically imprisoned at all, actually, <laughs> you know, and like, talking about a liberating experience, just to, just to hear that, you know, that people, people can actually wake up regardless of what's happening mm. to the body, right? And so, anyway, just, I digressed a little bit, but my, my, what I was getting at was that that was a spark for the team to, Let's let's go on that. Let's just really pour our hearts into into extending extending this message of the book that way. You know, can we get this? Can we get this book into prisons? You know, can we get this into places where people have the ears to hear, like a rehabilitation center or places where, you know, where you know, often I think in the world we can create these lives that feel so good and happy, and 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 the the ears to hear aren't always there. Like my life is good. I don't. I don't need to forgive. I. I actually have a, a pretty good life. Whereas, you know, in in some cases, that's just not happening. It's more like there's a much deeper inward journey happening. Like in the case of Dale, and he demonstrates that. Like, um, he he is one example. I think a perfect demonstration of of that of the ears to hear and one who wants to go for it in a really big way. And so th that's who we want to speak to. You know, it's like how can we how can we speak to them? <laughs> you know. And then, and that, you know, I think that the team itself is really feels that as well. And we're just, we want to go for this. So we don't know how, we're at the very beginning. It's, it's an inspired idea. And we don't know the, how exactly this is going to unfold. But that's, that's 2019 coming in, a, a, an incredible prison ministry, you know, uh, you know, bringing in all the different ways and ideas that others have for extending this to to whoever, whoever wants to hear this, basically, you know, so. Mm. Wow. Tremendous. That's <laughs> tremendous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just love what you were saying before about really bringing the heart to it. And you can so feel it in something like Dale. Like, it's, it's no coincidence, actually, that that's happened. And, and then suddenly this gateway opens up to this whole new audience, because that what I, I had exactly the word that you were speaking about mm. accessible that's what it is about this book that's so amazing it's so accessible mm. and you need those practical exercises when you're making that shift from like okay what I'm reading here in the course is great but how do I transfer this into my life and you need the gateways to okay start journaling or get in touch with this or find your mighty companions and then the actual 
guided exercises to help flush some of that stuff up so that you can actually develop the ears to hear a little more like, oh, mm -hmm. maybe my life isn't what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. And maybe I'm, you know, there's a prison in my mind that this book is going to lead me out of. So mm -hmm. that there was that. And then uh, with what you said, like, I just... I felt when, when, when you were speaking, like, behind all of this, behind whatever seems to be happening on the surface with this book is the, the, the idea, the fact that you believe that this moment is your miracle. That's what's leading the way, nothing else. Mm. And, yeah, that's mm. what I'm inspired by. Mm. So thank you. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And as you said, 2019 is just really heating up with this book. I mean, we're right on the cusp of something big with the book, we're right on the cusp of the new year. It's just such beautiful symbolism of something breaking open. And mm. even with Spiri, as you saw at the end of that A to Z video, with Spiri being, you know, it's time to wake up, it's time for Spiri. It's like, that's the same thing. It's this from the bottom up approach, which is mm. making the teachings of forgiveness and the experience of forgiveness so accessible. So, mm. yeah. This is just a huge gateway, I feel. And mm. Yeah, it's been a joy, actually, hearing about everything that's been happening over there at Casa Quantico, too. That's the book house. And um, <laughs> I'm going to leak this as well. I don't know if I should, but I'm going to do it anyway. So we had this inspiration yesterday to maybe take you guys on a tour um, and just see what's really happening behind the scenes of this book tour because I feel like that's what that's where you are able to really get in touch with the heart of it and we can share the exercises and excerpts of the book and those are glorious and mm. to get in touch with the heart underneath it like mm. this with this beautiful inspiration that's pouring through it's mm. like that's really the experience mm. so mm. yeah it's it's cool because Chris and I were talking you and I were talking before the show and I was just updating you on what's happening at the house and talking about this and that and the relationships and just the whole vibe of the house. And it took quite a while before I even got to the book. And it, <laughs> it made me realize it really is a backdrop for healing. It's not really at the heart of it. It's not really about the book per se. It's about the healing, that, that the call is to heal. And so, so there's a lot happening. You know, there's a lot. There's there's um, whatever, there's a lot coming up for healing, to be looked at, to be, to be forgiven, to be, um, yeah. Yeah, to bring the spirit into the book team in a, in a bigger way, which I think is what we're, we're all asking for, but it doesn't always have to look pretty for that, for that to happen. And so, so like, yeah, just, we, we say that in community a lot. Well, that's just a backdrop for healing. Well, this is, it's never been so, such an obvious thing for me. Um, around that, just to see just how much, you know, how much the keeping the keeping the purpose out front is so critical, because uh, it can get easily sidetracked into into these goals that are in the future, like oh, there's a launch coming, or you know, how many books will get sold, or anything like that. But once you once your mind goes into that, it's like everything is gone. It's you so have, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you've lost at that point. You've lost the purpose of this moment is your miracle. So it's like the book is even this gorgeous <laughs> reminder. Exactly. No, 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 no. Come back. <laughs> yeah. Stay here with me. This this moment is your miracle, not that moment. That's this it. one. That's it. And we're having constant experiences <laughs> just like that where, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, bring it back to the moment, bring it back to the miracle, you know? Mm -hmm. So so that's it. Let's let's live, live the title of the book. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you so much, Susan. Mm -hmm. This is wonderful. And as Susan shared, there's... Um, Pre-ordering is still available. Of course, it'll be available until the book is available, um, you know, to hold in your hands on February 2nd. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just, I had this amazing experience with it, too, when I was pre-ordering. Because I, I mean, I, I live here. I don't necessarily need a book. But I just had this gorgeous inspiration of, like, I, I still feel to support. So I bought three books, and I sent one to the library where I grew up as a kid public library. I sent one to a community that I used to live in in Hawaii, and I sent one to uh, a woman I used to study with, with uh, Reiki. And I just had this feeling of like, wow, this just feels truly helpful. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to get this book out there in as many ways as I can, because I just have this like twinkling in my mind of like the next person that's like, oh, what's this? And they open it and it's like, you know, their mind mm -hmm. is blown. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to share that it, it all of this, um, yeah, it just seems to be a way for me to support my own awakening, the great awakening, which mm -hmm. is what this accessibility really is pointing to. 
-hmm. And um, yeah, so if you feel inspired to support in any way, whether it's pre-ordering a book or um, you feel a spark for something around the prison ministry or you just feel a spark to support in a deeper way, please get in touch with us. Mm -hmm. What is the email address they'd contact you yeah. at? So they can, they can use um, extending the love, one word, at gmail.com. To, to connect and then the actually the URL is really simple it's this moment is your miracle one word dot com so that that's how you'll get straight to the pre-order and the all the gifts that, <laughs> that we're offering and yeah more more info about the book itself so so mm. yeah gorgeous kind of well thank you again Susan thank you thank everyone you. for joining us it's been a really lovely year we've mm -hmm. yeah we've just been on such a journey together I'm so grateful to be here with you and we'll see you in 2019. Mm -hmm. <laughs>